MYBR couldn't do it in two, James. Or should I say Singularity couldn't do it in two. Ooh. Because Singularity... Ooh. <laughs> Why is everyone making that, those... <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you come back from the breakdown. Yeah. That's what happens. I suppose so. There's no uh, respect. What is the third map? Where are we going? Overpass. Overpass. <sighs> Overpass. I don't know what... I feel like it's a highly technical map. I feel like there should never be a world where Singularity could take that from MIBR. But right now, after them losing Mirage, I just don't know because that's a map that sh MIBR should have just been shining bright like the sun. But that said, to win, Singularity had to win a lot of like super weird rounds. Really so weird capable rounds. capable of doing that today. It's... If it works. Maybe MIBR are in the Singularity. They're swirling around the entrance to the black hole and they may be consumed, <laughs> never to be seen again. Yeah. Consumed by the darkness. I think, as you said, a lot of those rounds were weird rounds and very excessive, but also Fallen, when he was missing shots, they were losing. But when, when Fallen was on fire, when he was hitting shots, he was unstoppable. So on a map like Overpass, if Fallen, you know, just doing his regular thing, I can't see Singularity mm -hmm. beating them. I just can't see it. That's the thing. I, I agree, but <laughs> Hydrex was starting to come alive towards yeah. the end. They they show they shown that they like that the Krieg play style, and if they're, that, if they're that kind of a team, you know, Furia is a great overpass team for one of those reasons. It's the fact that the Kriegs really help you with the ranges in actually playing that sort of more default pick based style around the A side of the map where you're going to find Fallen. So I do it does for me it does call into question that that I I can't give I can't have it be a given that Fallen is going to run around dominating, and it's not the same. MIBR or, or, or Fallen of, of old overpass where he was the guy that innovated. I remember listening to, to the Games Academy uh, lessons that he would do on overpass and the theory was like ahead of its time. Like they innovated everything at the beginning. Yeah, they gave too much info. And to now, as well. now they feel like they're behind. During the break, because this clock is on GMT or UTC for, you know, the emotional, 258 days since we could draw on the map 258 days Valve, do you hear me i know you do <laughs> i know you read my emails i know you read my emails <laughs> maybe it's time to send another one maybe i'll send one right now you should we start, send one right now you should, you should start, start sending one right now. i want to send one including inc a picture you should get the community to start sending emails or is that like doxing james you should you should change it up you start sending gifts Use some Snapchat filters, turn yourself into a woman or whatever. That's what's that one. <laughs> I I'm never, no. That would be so funny. You should just do that and say Valve has been 258 days. Just, I, I will just, never install Snapchat. Man. Never. Uh, okay, I'm going you to see that now. Well, if you already have it installed, then. If someone pays you loads of money, you do it. Okay. Because you want new shoes. Setting an email to Valve. 258 dot 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 is a subject. And then the body is dot dot dot. Days since we could draw on the map, exclamation mark. What do you think of our dedicated clock? Okay, well, <laughs> into more important things. Actually, um, I won't ask that part, but I'll say since we could draw on the map. There we go. There you go. All right, well, we have Hydrex going straight in and straight out again. He doesn't like what he sees. He's out. Oh, it's getting tagged. I don't know how he's still alive. Getting nipped right there. They are chasing. What does that him. mean? He, they, you know, they like a, a dog. Nip the, nip at the heels. Like nipping at you. Nip at the heels. Dogs. Yeah. Little bites. Okay, well, it's a great start for MIBR. Oh, nothing doing here for Singularity. Shake Zilla, are you going to be good for some kills, my friend? Get at least one headshot. Get the money. You Man deserve money. it. Get yourself something nice in the next round. There we go. This one. Ooh, upgrade to the P250. Now, here's a kit and a smoke. I would I would consider myself going to try to find the safe position to save, but I don't know if he really understands what could be possibly safe. I mean, we have full information, so we can never assume that we have the kind of information that the players do because they also have comms, and the comms could even be could even include some misinformation, which uh, it does, truth, it does happen. The timing work out for him here. It's not going to be good, is it? Got his back against the, the deeper position towards T spawn, and that will be that. So, I might be over the first rounds. I would like to see a force by here for Singularity, just because I want to see those orbs 
coming out with the full the full shebang on the fourth rounds. And they've gone for four deagles, five deagles. So they might we might see five deagles this round and the next round actually, if they commit all of them to death. You never see people doing this actually these these kinds of buys anymore. They're much rarer. Yeah. yeah. The second round of deagles though would leave them with just a lot less utility in the buy round. If they were to do that. No, they wouldn't they have because Oh, you mean if they if they yeah, just double they, e-codes? Yeah, just by not force bank. Oh, okay. Yeah, it just in just oh, eagles. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they would have slightly more, which is an interesting prospect actually. But MIBR with position in connector on the low ground. Now you'd want to clear it from the high ground. But instead, they well, they will start with two players moving through the long position. But will they come in to collapse on the connector position? Fallen is in situ. This looks quite meticulous from MIBR. Outside connector needs to be checked. The Vida will be the first port of call. Cold Zero starts to activate. Swinging way past that player in connector. The HE won't come fast enough. It will force Ryan out. However, he's got the MAC-10. He's got himself a headshot. We did talk about these four spies in Nico round wins and Singularity are not off to a bad start. Considering each person invested $700, this is a great start for them. I love how he's just walking around the back here. I think this is maybe the Round best back. play that he could make because it is a risk that your timing won't work out, but it's more of a sure thing that you can get a more unsuspecting position. And with Sheikh Zola sort of watching towards sewers, he, I think he saw some legs there and he won't be, I don't think he'll be visible. <gasps> oh, the timing. Oh, wow. That could have, he could have killed both of them running up those stairs. But instead, 18 seconds to plant the bomb and Sheikh Zola, he, ha there is a world where he can make this happen, but... He doesn't have a kit, so he's running, and that's going to be that. Send straight back down the stairs. Just panic just a little. Well, no, well maybe not panic, but left a spot just... Ah, uh, it's so close. There's such low time the clock. I think they had a good idea that they're in connector for the most part. They got some oh. good damage in. And they, they'll get the deagles out again because of the damage that they did and the extra money that they got for that. This is cool, actually. I like this. This is kind of cool. Four HEs. Where will they go, though? Where will they be sailing? Uh -huh. Expecting he might be able to maybe go for a faster round here. Preparing the HEs to deal with an, a B rush, but there won't be one just yet. I guess if there was a flash, maybe they would read a, a play through Monster with the flash and they'd throw the HEs, perhaps? Hello. Good start. Another deagle shot. That will almost encourage them to go into these HE grenades because it looks like there's a lot of presence from Singularity. It's just the one man, though. One player spotted on short. Now can HE start flying in? There's one. There's another one. There's a deagle to finish off Cold Zera. Oh, my days. This is turning into a mess, but maybe it can be rescued. Hydrex with a familiar friend in the creek. Oh, there was a communication. He'll be exploded by a Tyco, but I feel like Fur didn't really have the info that the play was standing there on shorts. The damage that Singularity has done in the last two rounds is pretty immense. They've gotten uh, six kills altogether in those two <laughs> rounds. So they've made both they made both those rounds look very, very, very dangerous. And they only had Deagles. Now they got four orgs and AWP and a lot of grenades. So a lot of grenades. So this is, yeah, this is going to be interesting. A keg of grenades. I'm really curious, like, Singularity, like, if they were, if it turns out that they're, like, a super sick overpass team, that would be really interesting. I'd love to see that. This is pretty, a, a pretty devious position, but you can only hold it for so long once that smoke is up, really. And that smoke is going away, so now OC falls back. There we go. The Bogwan spot. I hate, <laughs> all, I hate everything about those two spots. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Playing against them, at least. It's just so difficult to deal with for some reason. On this, I'm with you, Dan. It's irritating. Man like floppy. Ooh, what a risky pick. Wow, he just goes deep for the second. Falling back now. Flash fade away as Fallen tries to beat him to the punch towards the site. But OC, will he be quick enough for Fallen? Now he knows where Fallen is. This is the shot, but doesn't have to give anything up there. Four versus three. Time pressure now for MIBR as well. MIBR need to get onto a bomb site sooner than later. 40 seconds on the clock. MIBR moving into position. 
and execute of smoke grenades into the A bomb site. One, two. In they go. Molotovs as well. Got to land that smoke on the truck because if it was in front of the truck where Shakespeare oh. is, if he was standing on the truck, he could see over it. That's why it's always on the truck itself, which leaves this position to be checked. Fallen, the spatial awareness is fantastic. OC can't see anything anymore. That leaves two singularity players. We've got Hydrex on a... I was going to say rotation, but he's gone beyond. It seems like it's a save. They will concede defeat for this round. And it will be 4-0 to MIBR. Good recovery from the Brazilians. That round really was sketchy, to say the least. I'd say in that situation, Singularity maybe should have fallen back a little bit, play of a retake, play the numbers game. Uh, OC took like 80% damage with one HE uh, behind that bomb spot. It's not necessary for him to even be there. I mean, he could hold the same, almost the same angles from, uh, not really jump up, but maybe bank. He could hold a passive angle. Just let, let MIBR plant the bomb, re-aggress, take with numbers. Kind of had cement feet. Like, you have Shakes here, completely isolated. OC, completely isolated. It's just, just work together at that point, you know? You just need one or two kills, and it's an easy retake at that point. Smoke towards the entrance to the toilets. Brian going straight through towards the fountain, but nothing doing. Spray will take OC out as well. It's a great start on an anti-eco round, and we know that MIBR have struggled with those in this particular series. Taco keeping players on his towards the B-bomb site. There's a flash, but he gives no clue away. And Singularity will make inroads towards that short B position. Again, Taco just checking. Lovely shot. That's the FAMAS taken away. That leaves the Creepers towards the short B area. I don't think he would see the feet from there, but there's no reason for him to push in particular. He just wants to make sure there's no flank happening. Containment is the order of the day for Taco. Step aside. But there's nothing really that can be done here for Singularity except wait. I have a molly for Hydrex's position. For the high ground and the low ground and the middle ground. You just bank it off the window, from inside, right? From inside the window. Um, by the stairs in the corner. I'll put it on Twitter or something. Because I've been caught so many times by that position. There aren't any mollies on this occasion. How is he still alive? He's dead now. If he hadn't just found the... Uh, the the metal there. Maybe there's a world where he gets another. That's actually pretty pretty nice, but not to be the case. However, 5-0-4 MIBR, and again, a lot of these rounds have looked really close. Obviously, that one not so much, but you know, we had that round where it obviously got two from the A long position, fell back to the site, and MIBR were pretty clutch to retake, or sorry, oh, sorry take the site and then win that round. And, you know, we're seeing that MIBR are Way more prepared on their T side here so far. This, their overpass is looking normal, as opposed to like their nuke T side, which looked absolutely atrocious. And so they don't have, a, they don't really practice it. And this this could be the the case uh, that you know we're going to be having teams that will be less prepared on certain maps, and we'll see it more because people really want to ban that Vertigo, especially when you're playing against a team which you expect to be heavily favored against you. You want to float that. Vertigo, because if because at this point, if you rush A on the T side of Vertigo, there's, it's just it's very basic, very messy, it's very coin flippy, and that will work out for the team that's not as good. Oh, fallen. Okay, taking full Ouch. advantage. That's a bit optimistic there for Hydrix, and that will not pay off for Singularity. However, it's a four v four, so not all is lost just yet. That's some info for Fur, forcing the CTs back so they don't have the information. Molly not quite hitting, but Taco will. Looking sharp now. Plenty of time to for error correction for MIBR. Shakezilla taken out, leaving OC and Ryan. OC moving forward. If he can't stop the plant, well, can't stop anything. Fortunately, MIBR's aprons covered with the jam of singularity. Ryan's going for it. One versus two. Fallen takes him out. 6-0 MIBR. Clean sheet remains. 
Yeah, this has been pretty tough for Singularity. Again, there's been some promise in some of these rounds. The first the first four or so, but then the last couple have looked pretty consistent. <laughs> okay, so Fallen's not looking for that. He's looking for someone boosting on the woods. So, yeah, big, big catch. Yeah, it doesn't look like Singularity are on the same point on the other two maps where just uh, peeking together as, as, as CT. It's very mm. apparent that they're not peeking together. Kills are not being exchanged. It's just slow. The spacing's off. I mean, it's six zero. A you want to get six zero. You want to get a lot of CT rounds. And this map is, I, I could say, I could see it being pretty even. You know, depending on play styles and whatnot, it could be T or CT sided. But I think generally it is still a, a little easier, a bit easier on the CT side. So. Don't want to make it hard for yourself. Again, the same play, essentially. Well, maybe not for the entire team, but the play through the smoke, Ryan by the fountain. On this occasion, he will be here almost scot free, taking some grenade damage, but no spray. Bomb carrier called Zira by the playground looking for a flank. Look at this angle from Ryan. Fantastic stuff. Maybe you want to try it home. Fallen holding an angle, no puncture, but Cold Zero will be taken down. That may be the bomb spotted. Ryan rotating towards long. There is great connector presence from Singularity, close range with the the meat shots, or potential meat shots of these deagles. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Systematically flushing out the pistols. Throwing around all the flames. Like cockroaches. Oh, that could have been something, but it was nothing after all. Oh, okay. Fallen has been knocked down, and these two remaining players are pretty weak. It's a world where that could have been a lot more, but again, so many rounds have been like that now for Singularity. They continually find themselves on the back foot, though. Zero to seven is what they're looking at. It's starting to get out of hand. Call a timeout, Singularity. Please call a timeout. Do some push-ups, floppy. Slap yourself in the face. I don't care. You're one and seven. You're one of the top fraggers of this team consistently. You need to, you need to spruce yourself up. You know, maybe pump yourself up some way. Sometimes you just gotta do something unorthodox. Jump around, get Some up. Smelling salts. Smelling salts. That like would actually be amazing. We're yet to see a team using smelling <laughs> salts. To, uh, there a was a time when Dan was bringing smelling salts into the studio. That's true, actually. <laughs> I forgot about that. God, the adventures of it works. James and Dan. We'll go into that in a moment. There's a quick push into the B bomb site, and that might force an instant save. I don't think that they want anything to do with this so on the other side of the map. Um, but yeah, so so some power lifters actually will use like smelling salts in training um, because it like right before you you know you do do your deadlift or something like that because it kind of it's, it feels like a punch in the face. It kind of do like you need to be punched in the face makes, before a workout. Makes you hyper aware, hyper focused. I thought the steroids would do that. When you're going to lift something, um, the like you know like you that, be punched in the face. <laughs> it's it's the case that you need like maximum focus. It's it's. Uh, you, you're, you're, it's it's hard to explain, but you need maximum focus for that for that, that very short state. burst. It's being that flow state. But you don't do the smelling salts thing anymore, do you? Well, I only did it because we were we were commentating until 7 a.m. in the morning, and, and I was falling 7 asleep. 7 a.m. in the morning. Exactly. 7 in the morning. For what? And I was falling asleep on the job, James. So it needed something. It worked. It's better than hard drugs, as I suppose. Yeah, why don't you follow as opposed that? to soft drugs. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, soft drugs. Just, what just, is a soft drug? Just so everyone knows, smelling salts are not drugs. <laughs> How do you know? Has it been proven? Well, you're smelling around. Well, you're kind of snorting them, technically well, speaking. Well, no, you know, it's just a smell. It's just, just, just an odor. It's just a pungent odor that goes into your nostrils. You want to know another pungent odor? Janking. What's that? What's that? Janking. What is that? Is that a League of Legends thing? I'm not recommending anyone to Google it, but it's called janking. Go ahead, have fun with that. Have fun with that, internet. J-E-N-K-I-N-G. <laughs> Look it up, have fun. That's what people do. And it involves smelling. I am somewhat concerned. Yeah, I'm very uh, concerned. And I uh, will not be... None of us can... We don't, we don't condone this. <laughs> Tweet at James on Bardoff at Twitter. Pictures of Jenkins. Please do not do that. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Eric's Definitely opinions will. are absolutely his own. <laughs> 
absolutely my own. It's not an opinion. It's an actual thing. Oh, people love to pull their knives out and uh, can cause you problems. No. <laughs> that that has to be <laughs> the worst fail of a grenade. He got bumped by his teammate. Okay, OT. Did he see another one? Maybe, maybe not. He's got another opportunity. That's a glorious flick from him. That leaves cold zero in a one versus four. It may be a question of damage. Look at the lack of money for singularity. Every frag counts, but he's got the wrong angle. Almost gets there. Leaves Hydrex from 13 HP, but that's enough to survive. All righty. They're on the boards. Finally. Great play here from OC. That's a really tough one, that second Ooh. one, but... Woo. Beautiful Spicy. work, and that's the kind of play we need to, to see, wake people up. The money's not actually that outrageous at all for MIB after that one. They are... Everyone's on a thousand dollars, basically. A thousand to two thousand, so... Oh, the triple base. All right. Oh, oh he, he whiffed it. Oh! <laughs> I can't believe it. Gets two chances. After the buzzer. <laughs> that is a good shot. And unfortunate for Hijax, I'm sure he's rolling his eyes after that one. Glorious. That is disgusting. And that has caused Singularity to fall away. They know three players are basically T-spawn to be. And with that, they will expect a push, a collapse into the B-bomb site from MIBR. And they're not wrong, because when you're boosting, when you've got a three-man boost to get one frag on B, you don't really have the map control to go elsewhere. They do have the time, however. But it doesn't seem like they will make any ventures in that direction. Singularity waiting with three players. And now we've got another boost. This one's cool because you can jump up and you don't need to the player below you to... <gasps> you, see him. you can jump on him while he's standing, he basically. Goes. Tap, tap, tap. And the gimmicks are working for MIBR. And they're being punished for Singularity. Floppy takes one in the face. And Sheikh Zula is not far behind him, leaving OC1 versus 4. He'll take a dome of his own and fall back. That's the thing, like, even if you do uh, t uh, voice and map control early on, if you get the kill, the response from CTs is so often to just tighten up on the map um, because you don't have the necessary support and so on and so forth. So, or maybe, you know, one player rotates from A and then, the, then that player who he might be leaving has to play tight, like, more defensively on A because he doesn't have the support. So, so coming out into a default after that, I, I would sort of think it would be pretty awesome. So crazy that... After losing that round, Singularity have maximum loss bonus plus three. After after a reset, what a weird world. So many opportunities to come back. And this is what Elige was talking about and other people as well, is that like let's say MIBR lost with uh, they were winning rounds with less people staying alive. Then it's it's almost like a vanilla Street Fighter 4 comeback mechanic where you could get beaten down for the whole round and then just kill somebody in one move. <laughs> <laughs> just from the sheer amount oh, of yeah. damage it does. Just taking the whole economy away and just having bags and bags. Even if they struggle with something and win a round, you've just still been having money thrown at you. So I do believe it is a bit much, the stacking. Oof. Fallen has been doing that all series and continues to do so. Battle Sniper bouncing around blind and now he's finally been dealt with. Uh, long range, Floppy will take him out. A dart in the eye. Still a disadvantage, though, for Singularity. Two sites to defend, no sight of the bomb, which is only now being collected at the minute mark. So, actually, a lot of time to allow an activation of a Cold Zero on the flank. Taco can just wait now for Cold to get into position. It's, it's a bit scary because they will run the clock down a bit by doing so, but it might be the... the only way to do this now. As Taco, actually, he's actually going back towards A, which he does have time to do as well. So, and here comes a potential challenge for Cold. So he'll be spotted, wins that battle, there you go. So now Cold can lock away that position and they are pretty much good to go. This Hydrex will be coming in between the two players. Oh, Cold might have his back to Hydrex. This is perfect. He's gonna wait as long as he possibly can here. And there it is, forced to take the shot. But now what does Taco do? He's He can't go back to B, surely there's no time to do that. So he's forced towards A, 10 seconds. Will he even make it in time? He's three and a half seconds to plant the bomb. Just barely in the nick of time, but Hydrex will know exactly where he is as he comes up the stairs, goes for the peak. Which way will he look? Will it be correct? 
Can he hold his nerve in the clutch? It's such an important round. They need to start picking up rounds desperately. Tuck has gone beyond the angle. Ooh, he's fallen off as the San Kutako needed. Now it's time to visualize. We've got the burst from Hytrex all over the place. Double figures for MIBR, 10 to 1. Taka was untouched in that engagement. Shot past both of his ears, but not in between. Nervous, maybe. I don't know. It's fallen. Just bouncing all over the place. Really loving life. I think he's happiest when he can be fluid like this, and the challenge isn't the strongest. Nice. Okay, the Deagles are back out. We've seen them be affected before. But already 10-1 here for MIBR. Patience. Real just shows the endurance of playing a best of three series. If you're playing a best of three series against a team like MIBR, it could be exhausting and taxing um, uh, mentally. You notice like a lot of good teams, they get better later it goes, the longer it goes. Like Astralis true, yeah. especially, MIBR kind of on one of those teams as well, you see them getting better and better with every match, every round. And so, uh, every single area you have to find something to enable them to do that as well. <laughs> wow. Phelps is going crazy at the moment. Ryan picks up an MP9. MIBR will be slow. Dried him out like beef jerky. Ooh, it's got some good damage. But Sheikzula is out of position. He's given the sound cues away. Cold Zero will elevate his position just in time and then shoot him in the face. 11 to 1 for MIBR. 11 times the score of their opponent, who is on maximum loss bonus plus 5. <laughs> Infinite monies. MIBR is having a field day. They're able to just be everywhere all the time. And that's, that's going to be a huge problem on a map like this. Singularity has to maybe group up and try to take over an area, stop at least one part of the map, and then expect MIBR to be pushed up another side. It's the second time that's, that Molotov has completely failed. And that's like a very standard Molotov too, that you've got to be hitting that one. And Hydrex takes advantage of Cold, and that's the beauty of having an AWP moving around. If that's a rifle, Maybe Cole has a chance to fight back. Late smoke. Where's that thrown from? Uh, maybe CT, to be honest. No, it couldn't have been because OC's got the smoke still. So I'm not sure. That's a weird smoke. I wanna, hmm. I wanna see that. Yeah, I was, I was also wondering. I think you can throw it, throw it from the back of B somewhere. That's where I think it came from, but I don't know exactly. Yeah, what. I think I've seen it once, so I do not recall. MIBR slowly edging forwards. Oh, the correction from forward, beautiful stuff. Two frags pretty quickly for MIBR. Once again, Singularity in those same positions towards the B bomb site, and with that, MIBR will make their way towards A. They've got a three versus one situation if they're fast enough. 35 seconds, the divider smoke has dissipated. Little clearance to be done. Singularity doing the same, but they're further away from A. Is the squeaky door closed? Well, MIBR will start to move away, so they may not hear it. This rotation will not come fast enough. The door is still open, in fact, so that is a help for them. How will the bomb get planted? It's got to go towards the truck, surely. It's an off angle. He's going for the fade away and the spray. Spray, oh. the shot, oh. rather. Fallen gets a double of the players coming out of Kenexa. And OC is going for the style points again. He'll get points for that, but he won't get a point on the board for Singularity. Left alone in a bad spot, and it's 12 to 1 for MIBR. That's the smoke. Uh -huh. Ah, thank you. Cheers, Dutch it. So nice. <laughs> Easy for Fallen. He is racking up the kills, opening up everything. It might be uh, 12 to 1, looking so indomitable here, which is good. It's a, I mean, the start of the series was not great. Mirage was tarnished. It's disgusting. But this is much better from them. They are definitely feeling it as you are discussing. Fair some trouble here down to 12 HP. There's so many players around the playground position and fountain area now. So surely they'll make their way towards B and might be with that bomb. They've seen so many players. They've got to take the risk. 
Especially with Fur having only 9 HP. There's a chance. Fur has a reload of a Desert Eagle. Some spray around the playground. Trying to bullseye the flowers. Rumor has it if you bullseye all the flowers in the playground, the slide elevates and there's a path into a tunnel. Can't um, hesitate slide. when you say it like that. Yeah, no. I know. I was like, where am I going with this? <laughs> I'm not sure. I've got to create something quickly. I don't know, man. I'm on Windows 95 right now in my brain. <laughs> okay. Fallen is in a one versus four. Maybe he tries to take some weapons away. So far, so good. Of course, it's a long diffuse. It's been oh. such a struggle. Does he go for a shot through the box? He takes the ball out. Surely not. Oh, oh my God. Oh my Four God. of them, and they can't stop. What? They can't get the diffuse for just what? a second round. All that <laughs> like bonus and no diffuse kits. I can't believe it. That is ridiculous. One. Two. And oh my goodness. I can't believe that he's done this. That is incredible. Brutality. <laughs> Babality. Oh my. <laughs> Fatality. No friendship on that one. Babality. Oh my god. god. I don't know what you do about that. <laughs> there, there can't be any comms after that. Everyone's got to be silent. <laughs> That's, that is the <laughs> definition of demoralizing. A lot of size, I bet. The microphone. <sighs> Demoralizing. <sighs> Deleted. Defiled. I wow, that's just impressive, isn't it? So impressive. But when you're against Fallen, you know that his he's that's within his ceiling. And so, how mad can you really be? Obviously, what? it's thirteen to one now. Your powers of observation continue to serve you well. But you I, should be mad. But man. I think I think you should that, be mad. I think that if Fallen did that against like Fanatic or something, that they would be raging. Whereas I feel like Singularity, I don't feel like they're gonna be raging that much, at least. Well, if they do want to rage, they've got a few minutes to do it. It's 14-1 for MIBR. Very close to victory after a longer than expected series versus Singularity. Can Singularity pull something back? Find out after this break.
Welcome back to the show. 14 to 1 is the scoreline. Singularity moved to the T side on the verge of depression, destruction. <laughs> I think they're beyond demoralization. Um, and other things starting with D. It hasn't been a great map of overpass for them. Foyland's had too much freedom bouncing around, doing almost 180s and just doing what he wants, imposing his will, defiling, exploiting these players. Exploiting them. And they're on the pistols now. They are subject to the headshots versus the likes of MIBR. Creep towards A for... Singularity, that's a great boost. Won't see too much. Fur will see everything that they need to see. Can he hold them off? He wants to get a, like, at least a kill or two before they get their way onto the site. Make it easier, but he can't get anything as he falls back, fades away. Fallen on the site with the USP as Singularity try to catch rotations. It's so smart, they do catch them. And this is just, there's nothing Cole can truly do. The trades are excellent here. Singularity chasing down MIBR in the perfect way. Of course, there's the right-click knife in the short B position. Won't matter too much at the moment. Fallen trying to do what he can. They're going for a double peak and they will be successful. Singularity in the second half will double their score to two. <laughs> that was a great pistol, actually. Kept it simple, worked together, swarm. They swarm like the Zerg. MIBR did not hit their shots, so they paid the iron price. Roll the dice, you pay the price. Doesn't really make too much sense. Pay the price, you can roll the dice. Mm, What's that Chinese okay. game in that casino? Is Pinto Banco? No, no, I'm thinking of craps. That's not Chinese. Yeah. It's just craps. You're thinking of. Uh, oh God. I, I don't know how to play craps. I've never played. I know I know the game you're talking about. I just can't think of it. Roll the dice and you shout a bit. Hope they break you some money. It's Baccarat, right? I don't, I, it possibly is. It's but definitely, definitely not Go. It's Baccarat <laughs> or it's Pinto Banco. I don't know. Uh, long with the scout. There's the first tag. Does he go back to the... Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Can he even retreat close to the wall? Does he escape? Does he get around the corner? He just about does. Wide swingers will not land the shot. The aim punch is a problem. Even the reduced aim punch, let's not forget. It was quite ridiculous before. Oh, yeah. But now it is... Uh, now it's something more. Something better. It was way too much before. And it was like that for so long. Just like if you team killed someone, you lost like $3,500 or something ridiculous. 3150 or something like that. Back I think it was. Old, back in 1.6. And I think it was in Go. Was, it was in Go. It was in Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was in Go for ages. It took them like a couple of years to fix it. Probably the time when I was really not participating in CSGO. There was a little time where I took a break. Do you regret it? Yes and no. I, uh, I enjoyed life. Tried different things. Went back to college for a couple went, of years. Went outside. Went outside. <laughs> I, I hear going outside is nice. I did an Iron Man. That was fun. Nice. Triathlon. What, cosplay? No, the it's the triathlon <laughs> race called the Iron Man. All oh, right. 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile bike, I think, and a marathon at the end. <laughs> so it was rough. Trained a year for that bad boy. If you had to cosplay, James, what, do you, what would you cosplay as? I would cosplay as... Um, I don't know. Maybe... Maybe... Maybe Cheetan. Who? Cheetan. Cheetan. Uh, well, in Japan... I, I watched late last week tonight with John Oliver every week, right? So in Japan, some of the towns have mascots, which are like, you know, like a football mascot where a guy's in a suit. Well, I forget this town, but there's a town in Japan where apparently some guys decided that they will just create a mascot for this. But this mascot is a troll, <laughs> basically, and it has a Twitter account and an Instagram account. And it just makes these absolutely ridiculous videos, much, most of which take place in the room. Basically, you need to look up the last week tonight with John Oliver about Cheetan. I can't explain it. you just got to look it up. But well, it is absolutely hysterical. I decided you should cosplay as a Bichu. A Bichu. A Bichu. Uh, have you watched it yet? No. No, you should watch it, Dan. I, like, I, I will. It is. You would love the humor in that. You really would thoroughly enjoy it. <clears throat> the dark side of DDK's humor will be very fitting for Ebitu. Well, MIBR on the pistols now. 
How does it feel? Singularity with hope. Oh, Cole Zero has actually dodged that one nicely. And popped back up. Oh, that's not worked out. <laughs> that's a shame. His timing was almost fantastic. And what has Sheikh Zola learned from his expedition to the Suez? What has he learned? Very little. Except that there's two players there, that's all they know. For sure. That's just pretty risky for Singularity, as you saw OC right there, just literally creeping uh, towards the bathrooms. And around that area, there's so many angles the CTs can be lurking and hiding, so... Uh, very nerve-wracking for him to be leading this. Not letting the Mac 10 or something kind of take a point. At least have a teammate near him. Exchange a kill if they were short bathroom. Well, maybe are surely they will start rotating soon, but will they rotate soon enough? The problem is the nades will lock them out of the bomb site, and on the side it's falling with the USP. No one shot potential, which is a problem. Going and for the bomb plant. Indeed. And MIBR are rotating into these choke points. There are still smokes for Singularity. They can re-smoke, they can put a molly down, allow the MAC-10 to search and destroy, seek and destroy, whichever one you prefer. But they will not do so. Find and frag. Yeah. I learned the molly from nothing, which bounces off this office building onto these stairs, but you're very exposed while doing it, so... <laughs> so you never use find something... So never use it then. ...more useful. Uh, no, extremely rarely. I mean, so it depends. If you, if you know... If you have information where it plays well, you can use it, I suppose. So instant tip for people to improve their games. Hopefully most of you already know about this, but it's a very important rule of thumb that if you're throwing a nade to deal with this position, you should never ever be exposed. You should never throw a nade where you are exposed. So bounce it on something or do whatever you have to do, but if you never be exposed, that is a good rule of thumb. I, I try to bounce my grenades off uh, my teammates, but I just keep getting kicked from uh, servers. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Troll. Troll, lol, lol. MIBR able to get guns. Here we go. 14 to 4. A big mountain to climb from Singularity. Mount Everest. Of Nibber. Well, Shakes all straight through the Molotov here for a fast timing. He's already on shorts. They'll certainly know that, though. What can he get out of this? The, the Krieg, again, for me, feels really good in these spots because it's just the, the accuracy of that first bullet is lethal. Absolutely lethal. Very nice kill. It's forward smoke. He's lost a teammate with him, though. He's harassing so much. The team now is starting to work towards the A side of the map. That's really useful because at least two players have to stay towards the AP bomb site. But Fallen, he's the difference maker here. And he will likely be able to keep control of most of this. If Ryan pushes all the way to the bomb site, though, now that's an interesting prospect here because he could catch Fur out of. No, Fur now knows that he's exactly there. So, quick smoke on the stairs. Will the B players rotate back out? There's lots of play here. Falling gets caught off guard. If they had left someone to towards sewers, they'd have the option of B, but they've got Ryan just still dug in on the A bomb site. 35 seconds to remain for Singularity. Ryan taken out, trying to control the bank position. Default plant. Trying to stay away from the middle of the boxes, just in case. There is a smoke from MIBR to create space. This is nice. It makes it hard for Singularity to hold the angles. And sound cues will be heard by the player in connector, Taco. He could say someone isn't by a divider. He'll have to wait. He'll have to be late on the rotation. MIBR are very good with these late rotations. Perfect timing. I guess he heard the grenade being thrown by Sheikh Zilla. He thought he was safe and he got punished for it. Trying to bounce a flashbang off the WC sign. And here's Cold Zero emerging. That leaves Floppy alone now in the toilets. One versus three. Tekka going past the angle. There's no diffuse kit. Operation Human Shield not quite working out. And there's surely not time to do this. Will he even be able to run away? He may just die. 12 to 6. MIBR's timing on retakes is really awesome. On Mirage, for example, choosing the timing to go through the crawl cool space into jungle, they always do it really, really well. I think they may have um, some videos talking about that kind of thing. Definitely one to, to learn from. But on that occasion, Singularity will stop them down. Stop them down. Shut them down. Stop them. Um, yeah, I've watched it, but I just don't recall... I don't know if it's like an instructional video or just a commentary somewhere or something, but definitely I've seen him talking about it. Falling going deep for the pick. Head is found, body is shot. K 
kill is had advantage MIBR, but for how long? Firepower is still with Singularity. Let's say look to push. Hello, what's, what are you doing here? <laughs> what are you doing over the, in this part of town? Fancy you seeing you in a place like this. It's, yes, this place is disgusting. <laughs> Meet up Let me help sewers. you with this. Fancy seeing you here. Ryan's on the bomb side again. He loves it. He just loves getting onto the A bomb side. He thinks he's a CT. And it is completely clear. This is big though. Phelps with a free one. And with that kill and the gun collected, they'll plant towards CT now, towards the stairs. This is a very awkward position because there is no kit for the MIBR, but they have got the numbers to trade onto the T's. So somehow Singularity must find untradeable kills. And Shakespeare has the Krieg. I think it'll be a good weapon for that. Wow, Tuck is just waiting there for that. Still dies, but Ryan has it all to do, and he simply won't. Again, it's so it's so sick. The presence of mind from MIBR, the pre the patience, the timing. Even still without diffuse kits, maybe they'll have some money for them on this occasion. Tops now with 5,900. Match point for MIBR. Many, many, many of them. <laughs> that was so. So far in this game, we've only seen one, uh, two CT rounds. One now. Fancy that. Fallen is just having a great time. A gay old time, as Flintstones would say. Do when they did that Flintstones Jetsons crossover? No, it's totally unbelievable. <laughs> I, I was infuriated. When that happened, like in, in the 60s? <laughs> A little before my time. Never watched the Jetsons. It's racist. Oh. Just kidding. Made that up. I would have believed you. That's why I said just kidding. I don't want to mislead you. Oh, I felt sticking down Ryan lurking towards A, and I think MIBR realized what's going on. Ball in great position. He's got rifle support as well as Colt Zero looks to spray him down. Paul has to turn around and see what else he can do. And it's all up to OC. Orp versus Orp. There's too many players and Fallen is going to nail it. 16 to 5 and MIBR are successful. It took a while for them to get there. This, I think we would all have expected it to be two blowouts. But it honestly looked pretty competitive. Singularity could have won this series. Yeah, Singularity kind of ran out of steam on this map. They, sh they did show up a pretty good fight, but again, in the best three series, you got to come playing all three games, and uh, just being down so many rounds on a CT side, a map like Overpass, is just too detrimental. Uh, MIBR is just running all over the place. Pretty much no respect to Singularity. They have to, I guess, just really tighten up on their fundamentals when their mind gets tired, you know, when you... When you, you, you kind of games are exhausting, so practice these fundamentals consistently. Yeah, there are some things they can learn, but I think there are other things where they're just being abused by MIBR, which isn't really useful in a demo or something. Like Fallen's just jumping around, doing 180s and shooting you. It's like, well, it's just, you know, it's just Fallen. <laughs> Should have fragged him. He fragged me. On to the next part of the demo. Solid stuff from MIBR showing that they are the stronger team towards the end there. And we can see that NRG have lost 2-1 oh. to E United. What? what on earth happened there? That's kind of crazy because NRG actually have a lot of cash accrued already. So I don't know if this is going to hurt them a huge amount, but I can imagine that it, it will be a problematic for them. That is a shocker. Um, e United seems to have NRG's number. I think E United beats NRG more often than not. But, but United is a hotel lobby. It's just a revolving door of people. Usually, but for some reason, they always have Energy's number. I don't I don't know. I guess I got to watch with them. Maybe it's the star in, in the middle. It's just confusing. I don't know. Man. That's a, that's very... I did my best that. That's very, <laughs> very interesting. Later on, we have Cloud9... I say later on. Well, imminently, we have Cloud9, Luminosity, and Team Liquid versus Space Station. Those are coming up very quickly indeed. We are just about on time, so we're going to hit the break pretty damn quickly. Um, that was... That was... Well, I don't know what to say in review, really. I think the beginning of that series was weird, but it ended solidly for MIBR, so... That's that. They move on. We'll see who else moves on after the break. See you soon.